Plytech as a major recycler of scrap tires has really only just started the beginning of the ability to touch taking tires out of landfill. They're not biodegradable, they harbor disease. When I was in university, there was a tire fire in the town of Hagersville, Ontario. So when it came time to pick uh, thesis topics, I chose scrap tire recycling. I started Plytech in 2006, and the very first product uh, that we launched was the Genie Clip. That was a very unique and novel product that would isolate sound in walls and ceilings. And essentially it was like a motor mount. Just turn the motor mount on its side and then had a motor mount acting kind of as a vibration absorber, but do it behind drywall. So in walls and ceilings, so that you wouldn't hear your neighbor. We were able to take uh, building construction and make it significantly thinner. So it can add an extra floor to a building just by using this product. That was very motivating, the idea that, you know, we could create products that would use that crumb rubber in a helpful way to people's lives. Multifamily living and urban densification is something that's not going away. It's only going to be more prevalent in everyone's lives going forward. You see it in, in gyms, you see it in health clubs, you see it in sports facilities like under AstroTurf. Uh, as a cushioning agent. We've done things like the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the tallest building in the world, but we're also working on things like um, a redevelopment of the old post office in Chicago that's you know a very famous uh, Mies van der Rohe building. This year we'll recycle 50 million pounds of tires. That's equivalent to about uh, two and a half million tires. Uh, anything we can do to reduce that uh, negative impact on our planet, it certainly makes you feel good at the end of the day.